Currently, uh, 5G antenna cost around $20,000. We're able to produce for the first time using our, print, our printer this part that actually reduced the cost of the 5G antenna to around $1,000 using this simple part printed with our printers. I'm here at XJet, which is a company that's completely reimagining the potential of 3D printing. Hanan, thank you so much for having us here. What is XJet? What are you guys doing? And why is this different in the world of 3D printing? Welcome to XJet. Uh, uh, we do uh, 3D printers for metals and ceramics. And we decided to take uh, this, uh, these printers a step, big step uh, forward into uh, manufacturing, not only prototyping, but manufacturing of metal and ceramic parts. So most people are using 3D printing now. It's to make a prototype for a part or a scale model of a part that will then go into industrial manufacture. You want to actually print parts using a real 3D printer that then gets used as, whether it's an automotive component or uh, in the case of why we're here to talk to you, a 5G antenna. Exactly, exactly. So uh, our customers, we have already uh, a number of customers, key customers, are printing today with our printers. Uh, ceramic parts uh, for different industries, so dental parts, automotive parts, um, aerospace parts for jet engines. You have with you a 5G antenna that you've right. printed, so why don't you grab that? We spent 10 years in the lab uh, in this uh, area here, right. in this, this science park, right. around 25, 30 PhDs developing this technology. We develop a technology that can take actual ink uh, and the, it's liquid, and inside the liquid we dispersed powders of metal on ceramics. This is a unique technology that we developed here for many years, uh, how to create metal ink, and then we jet it with inkjet, with industrial inkjet. We jet uh, currently 120 million drops every second, uh, and we're creating tiny layers uh, with, this, uh, with this ink, uh, probably uh, uh, around 10 micron layers, uh, create fine parts, super fine parts uh, of 3D shapes and we actually build them uh, uh, layers upon layers like every, every, other, uh, in the, every other 3D printer does. And you've got some pretty complex shapes here. You've got an actual working wrench and yeah. you've got a ball so, bearing so, so you're able to, to print these. There, there's no assembly required here. These are come off the production exactly. process so, so in this shape. These ball bearings, super accurate. This is ceramic, by the way, that can go up to 2,000 degrees centigrade. When it comes to 5G and the, pot, uh, the size of that potential market, have you guys done the math on the opportunity that lies there if you're able to scale up this process for, for some of the people who are building the radio units? And you can make 40 probably in about one shift, I would say. Which is how long? I would say uh, 12 hours around that. So you could, you could be cranking out uh, how? 50 a day uh, I mean uh, 100 a day I would take from one printer wow so wow. if if you have if you have uh, a farm of uh, this is what our customers right. are doing they put a farm of printers and then they can make the massive amount needed wow wow yeah. when we started we didn't even imagine that uh, 5G would be one of our applications or communication at all we just doing printers but our customers developed this uh, innovative idea and I'm sure that uh, uh, the more customers we have, more, more ideas will come from them. So they are the big inventors of the users of the printers. Very cool. Well, Hanan, thank you very much. It's XJet printing, 3D printing technology using a brand new proprietary form of printer. It uses injection to create this ceramic 5G antenna and it can use, um, create metal components as well that can be used in automotive and many other industrial applications. Really cool company, thank you so much. Thank you so much, pleasure.